Greetings to all. We got uh, another match here. Uh, we're on Honeycomb, as you can see if you are familiar with the map. NS versus OSP. Hopefully, we won't have any disconnects, AFKs, well wishers. Or, uh, <laughs> I also have a teammate here spectating alongside me this i don't know who this guy is he just showed up in the game and decided to spectate as well which i'm totally down with hope he enjoys himself at least as much as i am okay team one's getting pretty spread out it's good team two is concentrated on the middle could be Problematic for them later on, although if they can take mid control and just exert pressure along the edges of the map by using the middle section as a base of operations, could be very powerful. We got the Canadian team out here rocking the beamstone. <laughs> uh, that's probably a hockey team emblem. Because the Maple Leaf is Canadian, yeah, but usually it's in like a square. I think if it's in a roundel like this, it's uh, some sort of hockey thing. I, I, I don't know. I might be completely wrong. <laughs> and he's bringing an Axford to the party. Oh, boy. Axford, a couple Beamstones, and uh, Evil Reigns. Okay. We've got one of Voxel. With a lot of guns. Support reins, two support reins. Okay, this is an interesting setup. I'm not even sure how you get to 3k points with this setup. Internals must be out of control. We're going to get back to that after we browse everything else. We've got a reins with... Oh, okay. Two missile launchers, probably full to the brim of very expensive... Yeah, <laughs> expensive missiles. Hybrid 2s, oh my goodness, that's very dangerous. We've got, looks like a, yeah, Beamstone team with a couple of escort sprinters. Illuminators, interesting. That's not going to help you that much with Beamstones. Huh, okay. All right, let's take a look. Is this a container ship? It's not. Uh, it's a roll-off launcher. Cargo liner. Oh my. That's how many missiles you got on this bad boy. 204 <laughs> class 2 missiles. That's unbelievably dangerous. I don't know if they have enough point defense for that. We have a E-War cargo liner. Okay. It's interesting. We have a point defense cargo liner with a couple of mass drivers on it. Oh, he's even got point defense on the backside. That's why there's so many of these. What in the world? And a scouting range. Oh, the Japanese team is also out here. Yeah, JSDF, Japanese Self Defense Force. I didn't, uh, I didn't put that together. Colin Stotfeld and Zero Two. Okay, so a Code Geass Enjoyer is out here. I like it. I respect it. I enjoy that show as well. We got Casemate. Broadsider with case mace on both sides of the ship. On, is that three vessels? Oh my goodness. Three vessels. Double-sided C-65s. They have almost no internals. Which means their reload's going to be the full time and the fire rate's going to be the full time. So this is only going to work very well with flipping okay the trans team is also here and we just we got people from all over the place i bet these guys are from transylvania oh yeah that's that's what you're here for baby the the, the jokes the high-end jokes and i you don't care about spaceships exploding you don't care about fights and tactics and strategy it's just really shitty i uh, good jokes 
These guns are bearing on something. Sure. Oh, and the Martian team. We've also got Martians. And this guy over here is uh, a representative from the Halo community. Just a whole lot of folks from all over the place. This might be from something, but I don't know. I already looked at you. This guy's taking a bath. Or sitting in a lawn chair? Yeah, sitting in a lawn chair and just, just having a drink. It's just stock ANS, but a little more green. Instead of the olive drab. Missile's going out. Boink. Combat has started. Oh, battle lines are getting drawn. A lot of scanning you are coming out from both sides. We want to see what they're up against. AMMs, grazers, yeah, those missiles aren't going to do much. That tug is loaded for bear. Getting shot at. Not very accurately in... Oh, nothing to worry about there. Like Delta's gonna get capped soon, yeah, by this very intimidating fleet, if it's used properly. But using double broadsides without ammo elevators is, is rough. What kind of drives does he have? They got the bigger yard drive. I don't think these missiles are the way. Not on this tug. Uh-oh. Spoke too soon. One might get through, which is going to be a big problem for this tug. Oh, yes. A few more coming out. One single hybrid. I look forward to see what you can do, little hybrid. Suspense is killing me. Because this is either going to delete this tug or it's not going to be targeted quite right and it's just going to miss. Oh, I think he got away. Yeah, he didn't turn it. You need to live another day, tug man. Unless this is going after something else. I don't think it is. I don't know. Oh, that is so close. Yeah, might be going after someone else. <laughs> Mass driver fire. Who are you shooting at? These rains. Yeah, that's just off into the abyss. They're sort of engaging this line team with missiles. Don't have an incredibly impressive volume of fire, but those mass drivers are absolutely annihilating these Reigns frigates. Yeah, the drive makes up a pretty good chunk of the Reigns' mass. So it's a big, fat, easy target. Looks like we got some missiles coming out. Select that, please. There we go. I feel like there were a lot more missiles fired than that. They might have slammed into this rock face, actually. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do that much, Chief. Just a couple of... Couple of these. If these are... Yeah. It's the Japanese team. They're covered in point defense. And those hybrids. <laughs> you just... Oh! It goes through anyways! Putting a big hole in a light reactor. 
But one light reactor for one entire range is uh, not exactly the best of trades. The range team is pretty pretty kneecapped. Still firing at the husk. Understandable as Intel probably hasn't updated yet. This missile roll off monstrosity has not fired a single shot, I think. Yeah, it hasn't. I'm 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 ready. I I'm not sure if this player is trying to like show his ship and be like, oh look at me, I'm all by myself. Lure someone over here to slam with missiles. But, uh that's got potential. Well, at least the rain steam is eating a lot of munitions. <laughs> this tug has snuck around to the backside. It's even on a lower burn. To have an absolutely microscopic radar signature, not that much larger than your average missile. This other range it might be toast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's uh, that's the reactor dead. Yeah, on fire. And there's a small DC locker which has one restore. Two restores on it, but one of those lockers is on fire. I have a feeling we got another round of missiles coming in now. Okay, well that lanes team is uh I was really looking forward to what they were gonna do with that absurd amount of hybrids, but it looks like the answer is pretty much nothing. Damn shame. Transylvanian fleet <laughs> is uh moving forward. There was a third here. There you are. Protector forces have grabbed all the resource points. Or most of the resource points, I should say, so far. This laser brigade is, uh... Drive it. Having a good time. Captain Echo. More missiles on these rains. Man, I am amazed at how many how missile heavy the Protector or the uh Shelter Alliance teams have been tonight. It is just missile boat after missile boat after missile boat. In my games this past week I've seen almost no missiles out of the Protectorate. At least nothing that a handful of Bastions couldn't handle. The uh, Alliance. <sighs> My first couple of videos, I kept calling the OSP the OPS because I kept trying to call them the OPA. And now it looks like I'm going to mess up Alliance and Protectorate a whole bunch of times before I remember which is which. So, uh, you know, thank to anyone who is bearing through uh, that with my big dumb mouth and its lack of function. <laughs> Game's slowing down again. Uh, after those rains are cleaned up. Oh, it's trying to hide. It's trying to survive. But uh, the UNSC is coming for you. At a pretty good rate, too. What is on here? A sun drive? Oh, my goodness. That's 40 meters per second almost. A sun drive on a line ship. I, uh, I need to, uh, like, message this guy and steal his build. This is awesome. Yeah, that's dead. That's more than dead. That's overkilled. Pretty brutally. And see you later. That's so fast. 
And it's definitely flanking, but that is not that much damage. Because the sun drives are pretty good. Here's some hybrids. Going out, presumably to hit this tug over here. Oh. There was, might have been too intense. Okay. Are those cluster hybrids? Interesting. Took some damage, but the rock face ate a lot of that damage. Canadian fleet's backing off. Martians and the Transylvanians are flying in close formation. There's just not much going on this match. Time for everybody to sit back, relax, and take a big sip of your product placement here. I'm just on fire with these shitty jokes tonight. These things are such beaters. You can hear their drive struggling real hard. No one wants to fight. No one wants to fight. What is this? Team one absolutely has to push. Or they're going to... Oh, lovely. Thank you. Yeah, something's wrong with the jammers on the... tactical map. I keep having this happen. It's just like, oh yeah, the whole entire universe is covered in jamming. I don't think that's correct, actually. Lyrebird snapped on. I wonder why did that snap on? Did you turn that on? Or is there something incoming up here? I didn't see any missiles. We got, ooh, we got a sneaky, sneaky sprinter over here. Cat Bravo. That's good. That's a start. And we have a whole team of boyos going up here to Charlie, which I have completely missed. This hybrid's... I don't know where this hybrid's going. And it's heating back up, folks. Canadian team's under attack. What is under attack? What are y'all shooting at? Are these ships? Oh, and the beam stones come out from behind the rock and go after the cargo feeder. The high armor and the uh, deflective angles are not going to help you there. That forward cannon is just about done. Which is great. Beamstone's going to eat some counterfire for it. But I think it's worth. Especially if they can knock out that plasma. Yep, plasma's gone. And the uh, rest of the ship isn't far behind. Oh my goodness. And they've got some missiles going in after. I don't know. This is a pretty big fleet. And they got a lot of AMMs. So the missile counterfire isn't going to do anything. Or finisher, I should say, isn't going to do anything. Oh boy, this is going to have to be my last match of the night. I am starting to lose it. Got a large array of missiles going into these beam stones over here. I don't think they're going to hit. Already taking cover behind the rocks, and those look direct fired. Yeah, those were uh, those were track fired, so they're heading into this wall. Someone has quit. Who has quit? Argenschmer. I don't see that name on... Oh. A uh, full health guy over here on Charlie. Looks like his ship's passed someone else, which is good. Uh, shame on you. 
Blargen Schmer for doing that. Oh my goodness. Misses all of them. Oh no, they're hitting the ship behind. <laughs> I'm glad my camera showed me that. This Keystone Fleet is uh, not near any enemies. So that's a problem. This Keystone Fleet is getting shelled. It's a big problem. There's a missile dude is... Oh my, something happened to him. I'm not really sure what. It might have been when he poked his nose out. The Axford and the other Keystone over here, or the Reigns over here, probably gave him a, gave him a big old punch. Which is good, because I think those Axford cannons are going to be doing a lot more damage to the cargo liner than they will be doing to the monitors. The other spectator has left, because he has no patience. Or maybe just doesn't like spectating? I mean, I don't know. Most of the people I've run into are like, why would you ever spectate? Watching shows is boring. What? Yeah. Chad Lude has also surrendered and disconnected, even though his beamstones are in almost perfect health. What is going on in this match? This is a complete shit show. The ANS managed to turn it around entirely on the point caps, and partially thanks to Chudlude. And then he left. And ships took, yeah, took Charlie or Echo and Bravo, and Blargenschmer took Charlie, and they both just left. I don't, I don't understand. Uh, I don't understand. I don't think those hurricanes are gonna hit. Yeah, no. Right into the rock face. Well, that's interesting. AMM's chasing down hybrids that have ran off into the abyss. Yeah, I was right about this thing getting pounded by the Axford team. But these Hurricanes, oh boy, might be able to punish that severely. Got some more missiles going into the uh, the line ships down here. And the Beamers have started back up as well. On a new target, a fresh target. These missiles aren't really sure what the hell they want to do, are they? Team's still going. Chaff, ooh, directed the, the missiles to your ship. Horn of a lair, that's not good. One of the reactors is cooking off. Yeah, Enemy both of them are de almost dead. One's about to make the whole ship dead. Huge potential problem for that team. Oh, a titanic waste of missiles directly into the rock face. Quite unfortunate. I don't understand people who play this game and are just like, yeah, I'm done here. This didn't go exactly how I wanted. I'm out. There's voxels. Oh my. Taking those mass driver hits. Very powerful. It looks like we got another round of missiles going somewhere. Going directly into another rock face. Uh, no? The, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there it is. Amazing. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> Doesn't have a great radar picture. The track is not clean. Pretty even fight still. Good, this has been another weird one. 
And a big part of that might be because we're not playing on pillars. People don't know the correct quote-unquote ways to fight so that everyone's just kind of figuring out the map and doing their own thing. Which results into some very interesting games. Keystone's missing. You don't see that every day. I mean, getting counterfired and punished for it pretty hard. Yeah, the Protector team seems to have better radar overall than the Shelter Alliance team. At least right now. Oh my. That Keystone got killed. What happened to you? Basic CIC. That's a big problem. Basic CIC on frontline ships. Be huge mistake. They will just get shot off. And, you know, even though half the ship's still functioning, it's dead. This team, I don't know who got control of this team, but they're uh, holding down the fort, as it were, up on Charlie. Looks like they're coming to this engagement over at the Delta Alpha side. Nice plasma hit. The keystones don't really need the plasma withering, but it adds. It definitely adds. Those aren't going anywhere, no, sir. Man, plasma lines. Or, like, plasma plus. This is such a wild build. Plasma plus 450s is an especially interesting combination because that's only really going to be useful against uh, like a bow tanking Solomon? Which you're probably not going to find very many of. People are kind of easing off the Solomon. I mean, I say that, but we've seen a lot of Solomons tonight. See, that's the downside of the 450s and the plasma on these smaller ships is they'll just punch straight through, not doing all of that much damage. Oh my goodness. We've got a huge missile volley coming in. But I'm... No, I don't... Well... Oh my goodness. What is that? What are the chances? That voxel avoids just barely getting hit. If I was that missile player, I would be very unhappy right now. Because I've had spams that look like that, and they just just barely survive. Um, well, and since it survived the last one, presumably it'll survive this one, unless the mass drivers can uncap one of these uh, one of these point defense weapons. Or uh, uncap, knock out. Looks like that is not going to happen, though. Oh, dodging. Accidental dodging there. Nice. Some managed to make it through. One. Two, technically, but the second one just missed. Which means this Voxel is going to be having an even worse day than he was already having. Just missile after missile after missile flying in. Getting eaten alive by the point defense. But from what we saw, who none get through that time. This has the munitions for it. Yeah, only at half, not quite at half. Keystone knows the correct target to fire at. Shooting at the plasma, that's what's really dangerous for that Axford. Good play. Not shooting at the closer, more threatening target, but shooting at what's the danger to this ship he's sporting. who has been on a pretty brisk retreat. Oh, man, that always looks good, no matter what your range is. Whole lot of concentrated fire coming at this Voxel team. This team that is led by a Voxel. Oh, my goodness. Drive block's getting hit, and it's down. 
It's not going to be moving anymore. It can still fire. If it's not going to be moving, that means it's... Yeah, that, that means that's going to happen. And now it's really dead. Actor's still technically alive. Uh, I think the Combat Information Center is still alive. Nope. It's another frontline ship with a basic CIC on it. Stop doing that. Don't do that. Dear listener, dear viewer, don't do that. It's fine on your tiny scout ships and your reins because they're probably going to get deactivated real quick if they get shot at anyways. Don't put them on voxels. Reinforce are so much stronger because the big strength of reinforced is not only does it have much more health, but the reinforced affix means that it can get brought down to zero HP and still still have one HP point remaining. HP point, health point, point. And I'm not sure if you repair it above that, if it'll be able to do that again. Or if that only happens once. But it's very strong and it's a great way to keep your ships in the fight for a real long time. Oh, looks like this keystone is just about out of it. Yeah, the beams are down, so even if it gets back in, it's not going to be adding much. And another volley of... Missiles summoned to this dead target. No, they're going after the Axford. They're all going after the Axford. Oh, that could be very bad. Axford's got some decent point defense. Is it enough? Yeah, it's looking like it. Oh, one gets through but misses. A couple more get through. One hit, a bunch of more misses. <laughs> This Axford player is the lucky, luckiest person on the planet. No, oh, at least he was until he backed up into a line ship with plasma and 450s. Yeah, he's turning, he's turning and burning real hard right now. Are these anti-rads? What's going on? I don't know what's happening, but our missile player is having some major issues landing hits. Looks like the Shelter Alliance team is giving up. They could probably give Protector team a run for their money, at least in the points game. Well, they could have earlier if Chudlut hadn't left. So, uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And good game is right. Sometimes it's just manners. Sometimes it is actually a good game. And that was a good match. Could have gone better for some people. <laughs> Uh, but overall, I think it went really well. Yeah, the, uh, ANS sort of got screwed. They probably could have won this if they didn't have a bunch of levers. to see players uh, appreciating their murderers uh, yeah no doubt this force that came through Delta was very p yeah this is what I was saying earlier Chudlut had stayed in the game that's an easy victory because the Shelter Alliance team even though they're definitely lost militarily at the current point they could have easily won the points game You hit him with the old double apostrophe. Always get, always get looks. 
especially when you do that sort of thing in anything official. It's someone with a triple or a quadruple. Uh, apostrophe. That would really make him angry. Glad to see the good players aren't too beat up by uh, their jerk friends leaving. And now we reach the point of the game where we sit and wait for the after action report because for some fucking reason one of the players doesn't want to surrender. Pretty uh pretty bad manners. Really just gonna make him get the points. There he goes. Uh, everybody seems to have had a good time. Yeah, I think as close as that was, uh, if the ANS didn't have two levers, two levers, that's half the team just gone, abandoned. Like, come on, man. Even if you get the ships from one of the levers, that's still a dramatic increase in your mental load. And uh, it's going to make you significantly worse. Oh man, look at the damage on this team. They got really jacked up. Let's see, these, these, this team was pretty much fine. They could have stayed in and fought and won the game. This missile boat did work. Oh boy. 27k on one ship with a sun drive in it, no less. Absolute madness. This team weirdly didn't do that much. It's like. 12k ish damage, probably 13k ish damage. That's strange. I figured they would have gotten the damage down the valley. Well, part of the problem was that half the guns weren't used. Because these ships all had guns on both sides. Yeah, but they didn't rotate to make use of that. Which means that half the ship was worthless. So yeah, they could have done double that damage. Or could have replaced all the port or starboard side guns. Replaced one of the broadsides with ammo elevators and uh, cradles. And done significantly more work. And made that a much more protector favored game. Oh my. Jeez. Mass driver ship with 20k? That is incredible. Okay, so this thing was doing work. Goodness. This monitor fleet was a good little boxing fleet, but it just got annihilated by beam stones faster than it could dish out the plasma debuffs and then follow up with the damage. Those keystones are not to be trifled with. Yeah, 
Can shelter Alliance team. I don't think there's anything of super note over here. We should take a look at epics. See what we did. Wow. Yeah, I held the line pretty effectively. About as effectively as he could. Pretty much solo fought uh, three people. The missile ship, the gun liners, and the monitor brigade. And sort of one didn't didn't completely one but sort of sort of one if that makes any sense there were you know maybe two more people in this game uh, I don't think shelter lines would win or but that's not how it went and the glorious protectorate rides victorious yet again as it should be yeah um, bully your friends if they leave games early, by the way. Highly recommend that. Because that's just not cool. It's, uh, it's an insult to seven other people. And it also ruins their time. And that was a fun game anyways. But just leaving is, leaving is bad. Don't do it, folks. Oh yeah, except for that guy who left as a spectator. Feel free to leave games if you're a spectator and not the host. Don't leave games early. Alright, thanks. Bye.